Good morning, it is Thursday, the 26th of January, Isaiah 49, verses 13 to 26. And I was struck in the reading today by looking at verse 15. So Isaiah 49, verse 15, and it reminded me of a discussion I had had many years ago with some ladies in a shop that I had gotten to know quite well. And um, part of the discussion really was the love that God has for us. And they drew the analogy and said the love that God has for us, for them is the love that a parent has for their child. And on one level, that's perfectly true, because we know that as parents, especially the love that a mother has for her child, the, the, the love that the parents and the mother especially has is literally they will be willing to lay down their life for their child and these two ladies and in a sense as i said on the one hand rightly so said that for them was um symbolic of the love that god has for us they they, they could not understand love greater than the love that a mother has for its child and i pointed out to them that isaiah says that it is possible that a mother may forget and lose her love for her child and they were astonished and said no that that was a mistranslation and didn't exist and so um, we had to bring out the bible as it were and here it is isaiah 49 verse 15 and and god speaking through the prophet isaiah and again I, I paraphrase is you know can a mother lose her love for her child is that even possible and that's the rhetorical question and then Scripture goes on in the second half of verse 15 and says, well, yes, it may just happen, but the love that God has for you is far superior, far greater. In fact, the love God has for you will never cease. And, I, you know, we had to point out to them, so we just to go back for a step, there is a bit of a parallel verse in Psalm 27 verse 10 where it talks about even though I may be um, the, the love that my parents had for me, had for me, even though my, my, my parents may forsake me, I think of the actual words of the psalm, even though my parents forsake me, yet will God continue to be with me. And I said, it's, it's not criticizing um, the, the love that mothers has. It, it acknowledges, in fact, it holds it up as an example. But it's saying even it, to the it, if taken to the nth degree, it is not impossible for a mother or parent to lose the love they have for their child. And it's saying this high example of love is, is still seen as being something that could fail in comparison with the love that God has for us. And I wanted to really just talk about that a little today, as I, as I have done already. Um, to say this is the extent to which God loves you. If you are a mom or parent and you think it's impossible for you to lose your love for your children, then know that God's love is even greater still. So how great then is God's love? And that's the love God has for you. And the circumstances in your life are in no way indicative of God losing his love for you. Yes, we, we have shared frequently in these little talks that consequences of our sinful action may well befall us and even sometimes we get can i say splashed by the consequence of the evilness of those around us i just think of south africa at the moment with all the load shedding you'll hear i'm talking a little faster than normal because we've got load shedding imminent and i need to get this talk finished and uploaded otherwise you'll have to wait until about 11 o'clock this morning um, we are all facing the consequences of those who were incompetent, utterly useless at their job, and were full of corruption. And instead of planning ahead, ANC leadership, instead of planning ahead and understanding that this is a, a 10 or more year lead time to bring in new energy plants, no, they leave it to the last minute. And now we all suffer the consequences of that. You and I may not have sinned, but we all face the consequences of this load shedding. And, and so... Remember, the love that God has for you is beyond comparison. There is nothing to equal it, um, which is an interesting thought, because if God is just so supreme, um, is there anything greater than grace, effectively, and a nice little theological argument, probably nothing greater 
than grace. This is the relationship our God has with us and wants to have with us. And it's all up to you and me. Do we want it? Do we go and seek it? Do we follow and obey this God? Or do we run around and do our own things? It's a choice. It's a question to think for the rest of the day. Folks, God bless. We'll chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye.